Hey guys, I thought we'd do a video about these Acorn GPU accelerators. I came across these a month ago and effectively what they are is basically just like a little M2 stick. You put them into your motherboard and they make your GPUs more efficient and they help when the GPU bottlenecks and things like that. Apparently they increase the hash rates of your cards, but I've not tested them yet and I don't think many other people have. So at this point you don't know if it's all hype or whether they are effective. Um, this was the discussion someone shared with us, uh, shared this page with me three or four weeks ago. It was June 1st it was posted, but I think I saw about a week later and they described exactly what it was all about and what was coming. But the website is up now and you can see it here, SQRL, Squirrel Research. Um, SQRL hardware uses FPGAs from the market leader X-Links. So there's a few different products. They've got their own miner, it, Squirrel Miner thing, but... What I want to show you is the actual devices. So there's the Acorn CLE 101. Um, this one is $200. It does 8 hash in Crypto Night version 1. So that's the cheapest one. Then there's the CLE 215. This one also does LiRa 2Rev2 and X16R. And then for another, I think it's $30. Yep. So up to $330, you've got the 215 plus. And... If you go down to the description area, it, it talks about it. You know, it talks about here about bottlenecks and in the hashing pipeline. Um, it works with high-end GPUs to ensure the best hash rate to power ratio possible. So, you know, anyone who's got a, a, a you know built their own PC knows what an M2 drive looks like. It's just about that size. It's just a tiny little drive. Normally, if people use it for an SSD, you can also use it if you're mining to add an extra GPU. That's what I've did as well. So it's got um. A list of the different products here and you can see it's got a uh, hash rate power usage and acorn usage it's got dual here as well so it's giving you stats for using them in a, a dual uh, if you put the both of them into your motherboard but if you look at you know a, there doesn't seem to be percentages for that one but if you look at the, the this one the CL, CLE 215 um, this one is $300 and if you go down you can see the, the different uh, NVIDIA and AMD cards down the left hand side and then you've got hash rate, power usage, Acorn. So what it's saying is for LiRa 2Rev2 you could see double your hash rate with a 1060, uh, 1.47 times with a 1080 but you can see the, the power usage goes up by 8-9% there, 14% for that algorithm. Uh, AMD cards, some of them they look better, 2.35 times and then it's got X16R, 1.97, 1.89, 1.74. So it basically adds like another 5 to 10% power draw, but you can see it's adding 30%, 40%, 50%, 100%. Some of them are even more than that. Um, this one obviously will perform a little bit better. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, 2.11 times instead of 2. So you get a little bit of a boost. And then it's got dual. So there'll be certain algorithms where dual setup will work better. Now, I really do like the idea of this. You know, I, I did a big video yesterday. Uh, well, a big video. I did a long video. And I talked about the state of mining and how GPU mining right now is pretty grim as far as profits go. Uh, as far as, you know, the way the market stands, there's not many new GPUs on the horizon until 2019. We may get the 1180, but the GPU mining um, market, the whole the whole community, um, I wouldn't say it's in disarray, but GPU miners aren't making as much money as they did in the past. So products like this are obviously very attractive. And if you had to be skeptical, you can say, well, this is why, you know, someone like this would market something like this. But I will reserve judgment. I think this looks very, very interesting. But to play devil's advocate, which I like to do. Uh, I was on the Safecoin Discord today and I was checking discussions from last night and a lot of people were talking about it. And some people were saying it's snake oil and it's all hype. And for the money, and remember these products, you know, they're selling $330, $300 and $200. $200. What some people are saying is for the money, you'd be as well just buying more GPUs or you could buy an ASIC mining machine or whatever. So... I'll just kind of scroll down some of the, the discussions to give you an idea of what some people were saying. Um, did you get the Acorn? Rocky MTN Miner. Um, he was saying that the Acorn thing is a cash grab, about as useful as adding big fat exhaust tips on your car. Um, I am very doubtful about it. They are feeding on Miner Desperation. 
They'll ship in one month and we'll find out that's true. They're like, hey guys, not making uh, money mining, buy this and still not make money, just a little bit more of it. It's offering 80 to 150 percent more hashing power. Now, someone there's there's a part here. Someone was discussing the fact that that you know you you'd maybe have to buy multiple ones. So, um, for a 1080i, you need to buy one per card plus all the badass hardware. It's actually more cost effective to just buy more GPUs than to buy that turbo turbo tuner chip for your rig. Um. Yeah, it kind of pushes some lower-end GPUs out of the picture. Like, 10, like 1060, you would need one per two cards. Some people have stacked 1060s. Now, I didn't see any note of that there. I, I haven't... I didn't see any note of that there as far as... Um, you need one per card or something. I just... I'd, I'd always made the assumption that it would be one per rig. But a lot of people are saying here that it's only one... You know, for t a 1080 Ti would require, would, would require one card... A 1060, you'd maybe get one uh, FPGA for two cards. If that is the case, I'd probably lean more towards um, just buying additional GPUs. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm just reading between the lines. I'm looking at what other people are saying. I'm quite interested in this. I'd love to test this myself and put it to my put it to the test. Because uh, a lot of times people will say it's amazing. Other people will say it's all hype. And the best thing to do in these situations is to um, test it for yourself. So I'm, I'm tempted to buy one just to see how it performs. Even if it is all hype, just to see how it performs. But um, yeah, a lot of people seem to be saying that if you look at the cost of these things, if you look at the fact that one might only do one or two cards, you would have to buy multiple ones. And my motherboards only have two, um, two M2 slots and one of them is used for a GPU and the other one is used for an SSD. So... Just from a practicality point of view, I would have to take one of the cards off the rigs. I could put it onto another rig though, so I can I, I can work around it. Um, but just from a, a practicality point of view, I would have to use one of them in each rig, or I would have to change my M2 SSD and transfer data. Either run things from a Linux drive, which I can do with Windows, a Linux drive, a USB flash drive, or I would have to um, just buy a 2.5 inch SSD. And again, I'm, now I'm spending money on more things. So what I'd like to do is maybe try one, put it into an M2 slot and you know, take a card out, put it into another rig and just test it to see if you know these things actually do perform like they're saying. In principle though, in principle, I mean, I, I'm going to reserve judgment as I said and I think it's too early to jump to conclusions. Uh, from what people are saying there. Yeah, they, they could be right, but I think it's too early to say that. Um, but I do think that I like the idea of making graphics cards more efficient. The question is, can this be done with software? Is there any way to do this in software? You know, does it have to be an FPGA that does this? Do you need to buy additional hardware? I don't know. But I thought I'd uh, share it with you guys anyway. Let me know what you think about this. You know, I'm, I'm kind of reserving judgment until it comes out and people are doing tests. Um, let me know what you think about it anyway, guys. I think this is quite an interesting product, regardless of whether it's snake oil or not. I think it's quite interesting. Um, so I'd love to hear your opinion on this. So please do leave a comment below, and I'll speak to you all in the next video. Cheers, guys.